Arsenal to start Coutinho talks. The classic classic has set up. A Real Madrid star is set to return. A transfer roundup. And we look back on your Friday feels. All that and more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. So, first up, and according to reports, Arsenal are the latest team to open talks with Kia Jurabjin, Philip Coutinho's agent. Now, over the weekend, Bayern Munich have said they will not be using up the option to sign Philip Coutinho on a permanent basis because, well, the deadline has passed and they didn't decide to do it. They did also say, though, that they are planning their squad for next season. They're trying to see where Coutinho would fit in. Obviously, their initial bid, which was in the contract, has expired, but it's not exactly stopping them from discussing with Barca another loan, a swap deal, maybe even another bid just for some cash straight up. So what it looks like is that Arsenal are the latest team interested. It's clear that Mikel Arteta is doing somewhat of a rebuild at Arsenal and needs to buy quite a few players if Arsenal are to seriously challenge for the top four. The thing is with Coutinho, he is rather versatile, although I can only see him playing at his best in that number 10 role. It's not exactly something that Arsenal have at the moment. I mean, Meza Ozil is obviously the squad's number 10, but he's not playing at his best. Is it because of the system or is it because Ozil's just being a bit lazy or he's not really into it anymore? Who knows? But hopefully for Philip Coutinho, if he does move to Arsenal, he'll see the kind of form that he saw at Liverpool. The kind of form that made Barcelona pay so much money for him. Arsenal fans will be hoping that he then doesn't go on to play like he did at Barca. Personally, I think if he's in that number 10 role, he could be a brilliant player. We've said it before, he's just a fantastic footballer on the ball. But if he's farmed out to another position, maybe left wing at Arsenal, even right wing, I'm not so sure it will go as well. Anyway, Arteta is said to be a big fan of Coutinho and it looks like in the summer, maybe, just maybe a loan deal is probably gonna be the best option. Moving on though, and to a quick round up of the weekend's Bundesliga action because Bayern Munich and Dortmund have set up an unbelievable classica on Tuesday night. There is another round of Bundesliga fixtures and yes, on Tuesday evening, the top two sides in the country will be kicking off against each other. Now, over the weekend, Dortmund did manage to narrow the gap to just one point with a 2-0 victory, which saw Rafael Guerrero and Ashraf Hakimi score. Not only are they scoring and assisting, they're close to being the best fullbacks in Europe this season. There, I said it. Might be controversial, probably mainly with Liverpool fans, but they're a pretty good force for Dortmund to have when the likes of Erling Haaland isn't scoring, which is, let's be honest, one game every full moon. Anyway, they did, as I say, reduce the, to one point, the lead that Bayern Munich have over Dortmund, before it went back to four after Bayern Munich put in a pretty good display and a 5-2 victory over Frankfurt. Alfonso Davis is on the score sheet. Thomas Muller, Robert Lewandowski, all your fan favourites are banging in the goals. And as well as this, Timo Werner, well, he grabbed a hat-trick against Mainz and they must be sick of him. Honestly, if there's one team in Germany that is going to be delighted if Timo Werner leaves the country and plays abroad, it's going to be Mainz. Against them this season, he has six goals and three assists in just two appearances. Unbelievable. Anyway, smashing a hat-trick for him and yeah, Leipzig with an outside shot of winning the Bundesliga as they're currently seven points behind in third. But moving on and actually to a rather good story on a return from injury. That is for Real Madrid star Marco Asensio. It was last summer that he injured his ACL during pre-season and it looked like he was going to be out for the whole season. But one of the positives of COVID-19 at the moment, there aren't many, believe me, is that Asensio has now returned to full fitness. Everything he's been doing in the last few weeks has reacted fine, his body's reacted okay, and apparently the other day Florentino Perez was at the training ground talking to Zinedine Zidane, talking to Sergio Ramos and to Marco Asensio to let him know that Real Madrid, the whole club, have his back. If he's going to get back to the first team and if they get him fully, fully match fit and raring to go at the top of his game, Asensio is one hell of a player. It's clear that Zidane has a lot of faith in him and with his versatility, he could really help across Real Madrid's front line. He could fill in for Bale on the right-hand side, Hazard on the left-hand side, or even as a last option if Karim Benzema is misfiring because it looks like Mariano and Jovic aren't exactly the ones to do that. Anyway, I've spoken about that before and on top of this, Asensio will also be looking to get back into the Spain squad for Euro 2021 with Luis Enrique reportedly a big fan of him as well. So next up in a quick round up of the rest of the day's transfer news, Rafa Benitez is dreaming apparently of an emotional return to St. James's Park and if he does he wants to bring John Stones and Ross Barkley into the club. Loris Karius looks like he could be leaving Liverpool to join Hertha to Berlin. Inter Milan are in talks with PSG over a permanent move for Mauro Icardi to the French champions and Lastly but not least, Southampton are facing a bit of a financial crisis and may be forced to sell the likes of Danny Ings, James Ward-Prowse and 8th and Redmond as they look to balance the books. 
So lastly, we come to Friday Feels. This is where you guys left your footballing predictions in the comment section on Friday's Daily News, and quite a few of you got them right. So to those of you who did get them right, well done. Excellent, but I can't read them all out in the video. So here's just a few of them. First up, Amuthu Verapan guessed that Gladbach would be on the wrong end of a 3-1 scoreline against Leverkusen. Lucaria Knight Lagoon guessed that Timo Werner would bag a hat-trick and he absolutely did that with some clinical finishing. And lastly but not least, Kasper Siebel correctly guessed that Hertha would destroy their cross-town neighbours Union Berlin 4-0 on Friday night. Excellent, well done to all of you and to everyone else who got them right in the comments section. But that is all from me for today's daily news. Make sure you smash the like button and let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. And which football you're looking forward to this week? Certainly, Dortmund Bayern is set to be an absolute classic. -ker. Terrible joke. Anyway, let me know all of your thoughts. And until next time, have a great day and I will see you guys later.